Paul Lyle is with us this morning to invite us to the American Red Cross Community Blood Drive and the Battle of the Badges between Pittsburgh Police and Pittsburgh Fire. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Now you guys are doing something unique. It's a blood drive, but also chili? It's a chili cook-off contest All between right. the police and fire department, our donors, and we love our donors and we want you to come. They'll be tasting after they donate chili from the police department and the fire department. We have ballots. They're going to choose which one they like better. They go into a secured locked ballot box uh -hh. that comes from the county. We take it to the county afterwards. The county clerk counts the ballots and the winning department gets a trophy. And it's a lot of fun. That's the Battle of the Badge right that's there. That's the Battle of the Badgers. I love that. Okay, so tell us where is this all taking place and when? It is next Wednesday and Thursday, the 24th and 25th of this month. And this year we have a new location. We're at the Nurses Shrine, uh, 110 West 5th Street in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So it'll be nice and warm inside in case there's inclement weather. In past years, we've used the Frisco Center. There was a conflict in dates this year. So the Shriners uh, very, very nicely allowed us to use their building. And we'll be there on Wednesday from 1 to 7 and on Thursday from 8.30 to 2. We still have openings. We can accommodate about another 40 donors. Okay. We want to do 150 units during this drive. And they can just go online to redcrossblood.org and sign up. I love that. And tell us, why is it so important that people donate blood? Well, I'll tell you, over the last 10 years, the number of blood donors in this country has dropped by 15 to 20 percent. And we don't really know why COVID has something to do mm -hmm. with it. It's a generational thing. People just don't feel that, you know, they need to give blood. Fewer than 4% of the American public gives blood. And, you know, blood is like milk. It expires. Um, you know, yes. after two months, we can't use blood that's donated. You now, we can freeze portions of it, you know, for plasma and frozen red blood cells. Mm -hmm. But we have to keep replenishing that blood supply every couple of months. I love that. Okay, and how long have you guys been doing this for? Oh, well, of course, the Red Cross has been collecting blood for almost 100 years, but we've been doing the Battle of the Badgers for 10 years in the Pittsburgh area. All right, who's your money on? The police or the fire? Well, I go way back with the fire service. I used to be a call <laughs> firefighter, but I, I have to stay neutral in this. Okay. Matter of fact, I, I don't even vote. Uh, yeah, I just exclude myself from that. Well, it sounds like a blast, and it's a great cause. So it's a, it's a wonderful cause. We really need blood, and we we urge people, especially first-time donors, we'd love to have you come by. And look, even if you don't want to donate, you just want to watch the process. Come by, have some chili, you know, kibitz with the firemen and the police officers. They'll all be there. Sounds like a great time. Well, thank you so much, and you stick around because we got more news coming up right after this.